So Cameron, uh, World Cup, what's your goal at this competition in Dubai and for the next uh, legs? The World Cup for me is really exciting. Um, you know, being the previous, I think, you know, uh, 2009, 2008, I was the World Cup champion. It's always been a special part in my heart. And to come back here, it's, it's lovely to be in Dubai. And obviously the first time in Qatar, it will be a, a special moment. But, you know, just to kickstart my training, it's really important. In South Africa, it's been very overwhelming since uh, becoming the Olympic champion. And to juggle the training with the media commitments and the sponsors and uh, you know, everyday life, I think that it's great to just take myself out of the environment and to start training and start swimming again and see my coach, Dirk, and to, uh, to see a, a whole bunch of new friends as well all over the world that, uh, that I haven't um, met before. So, tell me uh, something about Dubai. It's not your first time here, of course. So, no. what do you like about Dubai and uh, what uh, I mean, you want to do in your free time if you have? <laughs> Well, you know, I think the thing that I love about Dubai is it's such a multicultural city. You know, there's so many people from all over the world that love here, and especially South Africans. Um, you know, walking around in the mall, I've actually seen quite a few people, um, you know, from the hometown being here and you know saying hello. And just to be back in Dubai, it's extremely special for me because in I think it was 2011, the World Short Course was here, and I became a world champion for the 100 breaststroke here. So in this very pool, so um, it's always great to to relive those moments when you walk back in and. You can sort of replay the race in your head and see the flag being raised. Um, it's, it's great to be back. So speak about a little bit uh, a moment of this summer. I mean, uh, yeah. gold, <laughs> medal in 100 breast, Olympic champion. So what uh, you keep uh, in your mind of this medal? You know, for me, everybody will always ask, what is the single point that was the most favorite at the Olympic Games? And I think that the whole journey to get to the Olympic Games was just amazing for me from all the sacrifices that I've made and the people that I've met along the way and the highlights and the lowlights and eventually finally getting to the Olympics and being in the final and all the pressure surrounding it and I think that the, the moment where I got the most chills though was that um, when we walked out and they played the Olympic anthem which is Chariots of Fire and to walk out and stand behind uh, you know, the, the first place podium was an extremely special moment for me that I'll remember for the rest of my life.